Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Welcome to chapter one of my defensive tutorials. This is all about retaining your defensive shape and the importance of doing that. And you will be pulled all over the place and the key is to mold yourself back into that defensive shape once again. So let's get straight into it. So Man City have played the ball to the wing and if you, the last thing you want to do here is hold your pressing button down which is usually your pass button and if you hold that down what will happen is he'll follow that white line that you can see on the screen there and he'll fall in behind Mendy and then you're in serious trouble he'll be able to easily cross the ball into the box and you're in you're in serious trouble so what you want to do is use super cancel and stay goal side so stay to the left side of Mendy okay you got to stay goal side of Mendy and stop him going around you. I managed to clear the ball out, but they've still got possession. Now, what you may have noticed is that in this scenario here, these three players, Pogba, Matic and Fred, are really important. And what you're seeing me do is switch between the players and retain that sort of shape there, that little triangle. That stops David Silva threading any through balls through. Okay, so that gives him pretty much no options. And I'm pretty passive. I'm not going out to press him. Because if I go out, he can pass to the bloke just below him. And then do a 1-2 and he's around Matic. And in between Pogba and Fred. So it's all about retaining that defensive shape. Sometimes you have to have eyes in the back of your head. So here I saw that there was a gap opening up between Bailey and Valencia. So that's why I picked up Fred and moved him down to cover that gap to stop any through balls to Aguero or Mendy. Over to the left. So in this scenario, you want to select the player goal side of the opposition. And the reason for this is because you don't want to select the player behind the ball, uh, who's Valencia, they've got the arrow pointing towards Gundogan. You don't want to select him because he's got a secondary player indicator above his head. That means you can apply the secondary press and he will chase the ball down for you. So you don't need to worry about him. What you want to worry about is A, stopping this guy getting a shot off from a decent angle. If he shoots from there, I expect the head to save it. And also worrying about uh, Aguero who's very close by. So if he does pass to him, I want to be able to close him down as quickly as possible. At the far post, we have Bernardo Silva, who I believe is covered by Luke Shaw. So I think he's, uh, I think he's um, okay for the time being. So it's just about worrying about Aguero and stopping Gundogan getting a shot off. So it's really important to use that secondary press. Don't select the player behind the ball. Look how quickly I formed that defensive shape again at the edge of the box with those tr three players again. Pogba, Fred and Matic. It's really key. And then what they're going to do is they're going to play it wide. Once again, select Luke Shaw. Stay goal side. Make sure he can't get any low crosses in. And then I'm able to clear the ball. Bernardo Silva. That concludes this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will be bringing you lots of bite-sized chunk videos on various aspects of defending. This is just the first chapter of many. Let me know what you think in the comments about that, uh, that idea rather than the 15 to 20 minute defensive tutorials I've done in the past. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give a thumbs down. And um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. Thanks a lot. And I'll catch you again in my next video. Bye-bye.